villagers in Stirlingshire are well on the way to creating their very own renewable electricity supply. They've talked developers of a large wind farm into adding an extra wind turbine to their scheme, which will power the homes and shops of Fintry. Here's our environment correspondent, Louise Batchelor. High up in the Fintry Hills, they're finalising plans for what they believe is a unique collaboration. The developers behind a large wind farm have agreed to build an extra turbine which will be owned by local villagers. The company was extremely excited because it was actually the community themselves that came to us with the idea and really, if you pardon the, the pun, it's really a case of a project bringing power to the people. In Fintry, where 250 people live, some householders were already trying to use less of the fossil fuels like coal and oil. Their own wind turbine could produce most of the community's electricity. For those who are sceptical about wind farms, the big question is always what happens when the wind stops blowing. There doesn't seem a lot of chance of that up here on the Fintry Hills. But all those kinds of details and how the money will be distributed have yet to be worked out. The turbine will cost over a million. There'll be some help from a Scottish executive fund, but the village will probably need a loan before the income starts rolling in. The aim is to give them cheaper electricity, but also to use the money that we make from the surplus energy to improve the energy efficiency of people's houses so that the whole village of Fintry becomes a much more energy efficient community. It's usually pretty breezy in the hills, but the village power company will ensure security of supply by selling to the national grid and buying back its power at a reduced cost. We think we're setting, setting the standard here and we think it will, will become a, a model for the whole of Scotland, if not for the whole of uh, Britain. The scheme's yet to receive planning permission, but with few objectors, it's back as a confident that lighting up time here could soon blaze a trail for other communities. Louise Batchelor, Reporting Scotland, Fintry.